Hello, Phil Thatch here. Today I went uh, up on Signal Mountain, Signal Mountain, Tennessee, to the Signal Mountain Nursery, which is an absolutely wonderful place uh, to go and buy flowers and shrubs and trees and all sorts of landscaping sort of things. It's just a wonderful place. Uh, but I went there because they have nesting um, barn swallows, which are very beautiful and they're pretty easy to photograph there. So I try to go there at least once a year and uh, photograph some some of the swallows. Uh, everybody there is super nice. I walked around the place for about an hour with my camera. Nobody gave me a hard time about it at all. And uh, I always make sure and buy something. Today I bought a, uh, a hosta, a really nice hosta that I've planted in a really shady area. I'll show that a little bit later in the video. And uh, today I only used one camera. Uh, this is kind of my most compact uh, bird photography setup. It's uh, the D500 and the Nikkor 200 to 500 f5.6. Uh, that gives you, you know, when you zoom it out to 500, you got the 1.5 crop, so you have 750 millimeters effective to work with. So, you know, I, I didn't want to bring the giant 500 f4 and teleconverters and a huge tripod into their store and block people's way. So uh, this is kind of a compact way to take care of your business when you're doing some wildlife photography and I highly recommend this combination. It's possibly the best bang for the buck wildlife photography combination out there. Uh, I think uh, the D500 is less than $2,000. I think right now it's actually on sale for about $1,600 or so, $1,699 or $1,649. And, and the 200 to 500 is a crazy bargain at $1,400 or $1,500 and it goes on sale sometimes as well. So I highly recommend those. And uh, let's take a look around the Signal Mountain Nursery and I'll show you some of the photographs that I made. I, I photographed some flowers and some birds and uh, let's get into it now. The place looks much smaller from the parking lot than it actually is. It goes back a long way and there's many many greenhouses to look around. Everything is in its place and there's a place for everything. It's just so well put together here at the Signal Mountain Nursery. Look how pretty it is. Isn't that the way you want your yard to look right there? The nursery is fantastic, but I'm here for the barn swallow. So here's the first barn swallow photograph. Everything's with the D500 and the 200 to 500. And look how beautiful that bird is. You can see the split tail, which is indicative of a barn swallow. And that one's on a power line of all things. And I took a number of pictures of the barn swallows on this chair that was under a covered area where their nest is nearby. You may hear a song sparrow singing in some of these clips and I did manage to get a picture of that and look at the organization of this place. It's so beautiful they could charge admission. Everything is lined up so perfectly and it's just amazingly beautiful. Not like a big box store is way way better than that experience here. Look at this beautiful hibiscus. I almost feel like I'm in Florida looking at this thing. And I almost bought it, but it's not really the best for our climate. I switched to F9 when I was doing the hanging petunia baskets photography because the baskets go for a long way. And even at F9, the ones in the back are out of focus, which is what I was looking for. And look how beautiful the varieties of petunia that they have here at the Signal Mountain Nursery are. So many different varieties and they have these baskets that are just huge and full, the best I've ever seen anywhere. And uh, every year when I go back, they're just as amazing as they were the year before. Look at these pinks. I haven't boosted the color in any of the flower pictures. They're all no boost in saturation or vibrance. I believe this flower or plant is called a coleus but I could be mistaken. Let me know in the comments if I got it right or wrong. These next three barn swallow photographs were all taken within a couple of seconds of each other. I couldn't decide which pose I liked. So I shared them all uh, back to F6.3 from F9. They are pretty. 
I think the next one is probably my favorite of the three. The first two are very similar to each other. I don't know. I can't decide. You tell me. One, two, or three. Think local, buy local. It's a pretty good philosophy for a business like this. Here is the song sparrow that was singing. You can hear it in a number of the clips in this video. What a beautiful bird. I have them at home, but this one was really singing and it echoed around the greenhouses. And here I finally got a really good picture of one singing away, letting it rip, belting it out. Good job, song sparrow. Okay, I've never seen one of these before. This was hanging down from a basket, but I believe it's called a fuchsia, and I believe it is where the color fuchsia got its name. I thought it looked like Christmas tree ornaments. Beautiful. I learned today that they have been naming a hosta of the year since the late 90s, and at the Single Mountain Nursery, they carry many of the annual winners, and I decided I needed a hosta for a low light area in my yard, and I bought one from them. Okay, here is the Empress Wu hosta that I bought today at Signal Mountain Nursery. I planted it on the side of my house that gets almost no sun. It's very, very sunny right now. And as you can see, this plant is completely in the shade. Only if the sun is directly overhead, which I guess it will be for a little while each day, will it get sun. Otherwise, it is shaded all the time morning shade evening shade so hopefully it does well it's supposed to do well in the shade so we shall see after i left signal mountain i stopped by vw wetlands and finally got a photograph of this blue gray gnat catcher that has been just slightly out of reach the last few times i went there and then i also got a photograph of this blue dasher dragonfly that was uh, kind of easy to get so sometimes it's easy sometimes it's hard all right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, hope to see you again in the next one. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button or maybe the thumbs up button and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.